we're nearing the end of the semester, and as we look at the end of the semester, I want you to start thinking about transferring, right? This still may be your freshman year yet, or your sophomore year, or maybe even further. Um, but if you want to go on for your engineering degree, or even a different degree than engineering, uh, you need to kind of think about this transfer process and what need, what's involved in it. So let's take a look at a few things. So we're going to take a look at where you should go, um, how do you think you should get there, and what type of classes should you take. Granted, most of this is geared toward engineering, but if you're thinking business, you can use this same uh, process. So <clears throat> where should you go? Well, first of all, if you're still undecided and you don't know where to go, here are some different tests, some links to different tests that you can uh, kind of take. These are kind of like career tests, and they kind of will tell you uh, a little bit uh, of where you may want to go. And it's okay if you don't know right now. Write down all the different possibilities. You could use concept scoring, the method we used about concept scoring, and um, <clears throat> write down those possibilities and weigh out what type of major you really want to get into. Uh, and maybe you have more than one interest or more than one major, and that's perfectly fine also. Uh, you, can, you can, at this point, still be with more than one. And even within engineering, there may be more than one engineering field that you're interested in. So there's different types of degrees you can get. Uh, you can get, obviously, a, an engineering degree in itself. Uh, you can also get a dual degree uh, program. There's one through Whitewater itself on the main campus. You can get one in physics if you really enjoy physics. Um, you can uh, take classes at the physics uh, department there and then transfer to the Madison or Milwaukee in either civil, electrical, industrial, materials, and mechanical engineering. And it's a 3-2 um, type program where three years are at Whitewater and two years are at the other campus. And you will get a full two different uh, degrees, two bachelor's degrees with that program. There's also a program that we have, uh, which is a partnership uh, with Platte It's called the PEP program. There is electrical and, and mechanical engineering. And new to this year is industrial and systems engineering. And we'll uh, to the program. So these are two great programs. And you can get your entire uh, degree by staying uh, at UROC, essentially, by staying here. Uh, the programs, of course, I teach the first two year programs along with many other faculty from the ROC campus. Uh, and then Platteville will teach the remaining ones uh, through a distance ed type learning uh, situation. So here are, some, here are some links to some information more about that program. And in the next video, we'll talk about it more also. So how do you transfer and how do you get there? There's many, many options for you, right? There's many within the UW system, uh, and there's also many private ones. If you're looking at engineering, though, it kind of narrows it down a little bit. Uh, you have essentially Platteville, Madison, Milwaukee, Green Bay for engineering. Uh, and there is a program in Stevens Point uh, for one, and also Stout, which I'm not sure why they're not on this map. They should be. Uh, Stout is over, over in this area, and they have a, a mechanical engineering program. On the private side, you have MSOE is your big engineering school there. Uh, Marquette also has uh, an engineering program, I think just in mechanical, maybe electrical also. So which university you want to go to? So there's a system, there's a site called UW Health. I would highly recommend going to it. Uh, it has a lot of information for you. Let's see if I can get to go there. Here it is. And this will guide you through a lot of things and is real helpful for you to, for your homework assignment also. Um, there's, so there's things on admission on uh, what to do for admissions, and you look at the transfer. So this transfer one gives you all the steps for transferring to the different universities, how many credits, uh, all that type of thing will, will be covered in that area. If you want other universities, you can go on to these links, and they will give you information for transferring also, right, and checking out different ones. Um, oops, sorry. Check out to make sure the university has your major, right? You want to make sure that your major uh, is uh, available. So you can go to this career cluster document and it will tell you all the different majors and all the universities that have it, right? 
So here's, uh, let's just kind of go to, let's find the engineering one real quick. Um, here's uh, engineering, right? So if you want to do um, electrical, uh, electrical, here's engineering physics. This should be electrical, electrical engineering technology. Here's electrical engineering. It's at Green Bay, it's at Madison, it's at Milwaukee, and it's at Platteville. And that's really all that it's at, right? Uh, mechanical, um, mechanical you will have, so it isn't at Stout, like I mentioned. Uh, mechanical, though, uh, is at Green Bay, Madison, Milwaukee, Platteville, and here it is at Stout. So there are different ones. So I would highly recommend looking at that to make sure your degree or multiple degrees are there. So what is required to get in? Uh, you really need to look at what your application is required, what fees are required, your transcripts uh, that you will need. Um, you may need some recommendations or an essay. Maybe those things are waived. How many credits can you transfer from those institutions? Uh, and which classes transfer? So you always want to be careful and check transferology. Um, I make sure that the mechanical or all the engineering, excuse me, uh, classes that I teach transfer to all the universities. Um, so they should transfer more than just credit, but they actually transfer for a class, and that's really important. Um, and then, do you need to get your associate's degree or not? You know, maybe you want to get it, maybe you don't. And and when and when do you need to apply? These are really important questions and things you need to answer. So what classes should you take? Um, so in the future semesters, how many more semesters are you going to be at UW-Whitewater-Rock County? Uh, and if you're getting an associate's degree or associate's in science, uh, see what is required for that. Talk to your advisor. Uh, check with the transfer institution as to what classes uh, you need to stay on track for for graduations. Uh, process, uh, so like math classes are all really, really important. I advise that you take that, you know, make a, create a plan for future semesters. And this will be your homework assignment is really creating that plan for the future semesters. I recommend that you meet with, with your advisor and you can also talk to me because I know a lot about these different disciplines and I'll be happy to make sure that you're staying on track to graduate as soon as you can. Just to kind of look at some of the major classes that you would need to take for engineering, of course, is physics. Uh, here's when they're offered in fall and spring. Uh, this is your, your uh, college physics, uh, we call it your uh, calculus-based physics. Uh, it's a different number on the main campus. I believe it's 181 and 182. Uh, chemistry, the nice thing is you can take 165 for chemistry and it's chem for engineers and then you don't have to take these 10 credits you can do it all just for five credits um, and the engineering classes that I teach are fundamentals of engineering both the fall and spring which you're taking right now uh, engineering graphics and CAD is also in spring engineering economics uh, is in fall uh, statics is in uh, spring and then uh, Engineer and mechanics and materials is in fall. Some of these classes you may need or not need depending on the discipline, whether you're an electrical, mechanical, industrial systems, civil, uh, engineering, physics, or whatever it is, you may or may not need some of these. So I hope this was helpful to give you a quick brief overview. Uh, you'll need this information and these links to help you with your homework. Let me know if you have any questions.